By empowering victims and shedding light on the dangers of being a passive bystander, he hopes to make our city safer. Kayra Mueller joins us live with more on this story. Ping pong, table tennis, whatever you call it, we've all played it. But we don't really know the technique behind the paddle. For this week, the city of Edmonton has launched a unique new project in Mill Woods called a living wall, which could be a greener alternative to concrete walls. Recording the album took several months to complete, but with a lot of second takes and several learning curves along the way, DIY is something the guys are really proud of. The top golfers in the province battled not only each other, but the cold weather as the ACAC Golf Championships took place in Sturgeon County last weekend. Finals are virtually synonymous with stress. The very idea of being tested on something learnt over the entire course of a semester can bring tension. Fortunately for students, the culmination of all their hard work will soon pay off for the blissful four months of summer. Aaron Bordado, Second Edition News. We had a beautiful night last night for Halloween. Yes, let's hope. The Nate Hooks men's basketball team has had a stellar season thus far. Going undefeated through their first two weeks of the schedule, the guys were looking to keep it going when they took on Lakeland College Friday night. The 4-0 Hooks hosted the 2-6 wrestlers in a game that had some potential to get out of hand quickly. Already 3-0 now as Adrian Curtis crashes the boards and throws a quick outlet pass to Donnie Moss, who drives basket for the hoop and harm in transition. Ooks heating up now as they pour in a set of back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back triples capped off by this brilliant step-back jumper from Alvin Parker. Bang! Ooks up 17. Highlight real stuff right here as first-year guard Wyatt Beaver steals the pass and floats it up to Adrian Curtis with a big two-handed flush. Third quarter action now as the wrestlers start to get it going from deep. Jordan Kelly would pour in a set of back-to-back -back three balls. Then, it's Kelly with the nice dish inside to Stephen Jones, who finishes strong in the paint. Third quarter coming to a close now, as defense leads to some quick offense as time expires. It's Connor Dolson making the ridiculous half-court shot, putting the Ukes up 45. Garbage time now as Alvin Parker drops it behind his head to Chris Mooney, who gets elevated and gathers his own rebound for the putback. Ooks take this one 111-48. Starting point guard Alvin Parker shared the team's motivation behind the big win. But we held him to 50 points. We get a free steak dinner tomorrow. So that's why we were playing so intense on D like man, we trying to eat, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's no question that the prevention of drunk driving is important. In fact, for Edmonton City Police, it's imperative. Students at Ross Shepherd High School focused on the dangers of drinking and driving as Edmonton Police joined in a simulated roadside sobriety test using Ford Motor Company's innovative impairment suit. Students were given an opportunity to experience the physical limitations associated with high intoxication. Now I, I learned my lesson to the fact that never ever drink or drive because if you do so, accidents will happen and you might injure someone. Give or take, you might kill someone. Ford's campaign educates youth on the consequences and dangers of impaired driving. They promote the importance of a designation. This week, I decided to take my talents to South Beach. And by that, I mean the racquetball courts, as I took on the LeBron James of the game in this week's End Zone Challenge. <laughs> to help me out, I got three-time Canadian racquetball champion Mark Cowett to join me and teach me the finer points of the sport. After proving to the camera that he was way more limber than I was, it was time to get down and stretch out those hammies with what he calls the Spider-Man Crawl. Feel free to take a second to admire those pasty white thighs of mine, as I gave it a shot too. Next up, it was time to learn how to serve. There are many types of serve, but the drive serve is the most common. Check out the comparisons between Mark's and mine. Pretty much the exact same thing. After that, it was all business and it was on. I got a little too competitive, so Mark had to bring me back down to earth. A couple mid-game breaks later and I was ready to tap out. Well, that sure was working, Mark. How do you think I did it? You did pretty good for a guy who hasn't done it before. I can tell you're, you're an athlete and you make it. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> okay, you're welcome.